this video shows an example of a pre-commercial procurement in the transport domain in Austria. The procurement was undertaken in the context of the National Action Plan on Innovation Procurement in Austria. This action plan provides procurers political encouragement and financial incentives to undertake both pre-commercial procurements and public procurements of innovative solutions. This encourages procurers to take the first step as they receive support from the Austrian Research Agency and the National Competence Centre on Innovation Procurement. Hi, my name is Eva Hacke. I'm from ASFINAG, the Austrian motorway operator, and I'm in charge of the innovation management in our company. I would like to present you briefly our experience with our PCP pilot project that we started in cooperation with our Austrian Ministry of Transport in 2011. So, the problem that we were trying to address with our project was the missing of a mobile traffic management system that we could use throughout our network. We are always having troubles in areas where there are no variable message signs available and we have special incidents or roadwork areas around to somehow give our customers the information in case of traffic jams or something like that, how they could act, how they could reroute and so we were trying to somehow develop a new system to better manage our network efficiently. Uh, looking at the ICT part of our project, the main focus was of course on the traffic detection because that was the basis for also the displayed uh, recommendations to our customers. So the whole mobile management system was based on the measurement of the traffic flows to then give an advice and a recommendation to the customers how to react in case of congestion or other incidents. At the end of the project we are very happy to have now two well-functioning prototypes with a proof of concept on our network developed. Especially looking at the instrument of PCP procurement in Austria, it was of course a huge learning for us as the piloting company together with our ministry and also the research promotion agency. Looking at the supplier spaces, I would also like to stress that especially during the feasibility studies, so the first stage of the PCP process, we really saw an increasing quality of work in the studies because of the competitive setting throughout the competing companies. So as a public procurer, I have to say that is actually what we were looking for, to increase the quality of work and get some better uh, results out of our investment. The main stakeholders in our project were basically industry partners like Kapsch or Siemens, but also uh, somehow supported by research institutes like the Austrian Institute of Technology. But, and that was really interesting to see, they also included some SMEs and small traffic planning offices in their consortia to somehow round up their uh, part of inputs and give the best possible solutions for the demanded systems. As a service-oriented public company, it is our main focus to always stay up to date with new technologies and new instruments. Therefore, looking at a higher availability of our network and a better management of our network, the PCP scheme for the specific question of mobile traffic management seemed perfect for us to, on the one hand, create a whole market for this new demand, but also to get in contact with the suppliers at a really early stage to stress our specific needs and expectations. If I would be asked to give some good advice to other public procurers who are interested in, in innovation procurement projects is look around you. There is a lot of best practice throughout Europe. There are a lot of procurers already experienced and so we can learn from each other and use the experience of the others to do our best for our own project.